Hello there, this is the my first game review. So today we have uh one of my guys here this is the uh this is the Sega Dreamcast. This is the I, my first console a first retro console that I own on my home. And what am I playing here was the Sonic Adventure, so I play as the international edition. So here's the game itself. Should be sure that I bought the Japanese version of the game, so probably is one of my favorite games on the Dreamcast. So today I'm going to review the first part here of the Dreamcast games and the console itself. So I will start the console itself first. So the console of the Dreamcast was the the design just looks like a PlayStation, just a little bit. Uh, difference here was the the controller port was awful, full slot. So definitely, it used the they moved the memory card slot into the controller. So this is the the actual Dreamcast controller was contains the what I insert was the this one, the Rumble Pack or the Jump Pack, and uh, I inserted the VMU. And this is the uh, first console that I hold to have the the second screen. Was personally, if I never know what I'm playing the Dreamcast or maybe some kind of Game Boy, but I think I think the Dreamcast would be a for be a console to have the good design between the LED in in the controller, so it can show the, how the games. The games that I'm showing the controller was the game that you played on. Like well, I'm playing Sonic Adventures here, showing the characters during the game's booting sequence. I mean the gameplay the se gameplay sequence. So the graphics on the Dreamcast was powered by the NEC Power VR. You no, know, it's called a PVR 2DC, which means the Dreamcast doing the Power VR. Series 2 ships which can power up the twice as fast than PlayStation consoles graphics and it's definitely is uh, Probably this graphic we compared to the the uh, Year Millennium consoles uh, Millennium PC games graphics, so I think that Dreamcast is way better because they got the some games that support mid mapping texture technologies that like Sonic Adventure 2 and some kind of other Dreamcast game that support this technology, so I'm really praised at how the Dreamcast was made a good console, but sadly it died so fast, about three years in the United States. But previously I just know already about the Sega Dreamcast about uh I was a kid. So one good thing that I love the Dreamcast is the game library was very interesting and is so many good games than the PlayStation 2 or what I have here. So the PlayStation 2 also the good console also dominated the the best selling console is six generations consoles. But it it won't gonna be easy for the Dreamcast because the Dreamcast was like the DVD drive and some sort of the disc Technologies or GD ROM was not really popular for the public. I mean, the Sega made their own the optical disc, which can protect the piracy, or maybe even bring being ripped off from the uh, the DD ROM. But most hackers they find a way how to rip the game is using a serial port from the Dreamcast console to the uh, computer, and then ripped it from the program that they give you from the website that you can allow you to use the Dreamcast as a ripping a DD-ROM image on the game on the hard drive so the good thing is is it does better anti-piracy measure and anti-piracy technologies that PlayStation 2 never had so the the PlayStation 2 has a DVD but it's there's the to be sure that the DVD was very popular for every year, but the piracy was still going, and that's why PlayStation 2 has the allowed to play the copy games with full image of disc. But the Dreamcast was finally protected 
why don't let players to play the CDR games it was mean the Mill CD based disc games. Where's the Mill CD was contains the the data that allow you to play on a Dreamcast, but it also do some kind of music software that would possibly use for like the software development kit or maybe some kind of tools or hacking or the safe data management. So the PlayStation 2 was uh, probably was very easy to copy from game to disc to the disc like some some good games like I played was here. This is my PlayStation 2 game that I own was the Japanese only consoles. And some of the games are United States like Worms. And these games are I already remembered, but sometimes I really enjoyed or I'm I'm, I'm really interested about those games. And now I'm playing the Sonic Adventure, but the one thing I'm surprisingly because these the Sega Dreamcast, the first console to have the next generation video playbacks known called the CRI MPEG subdeck, which means they allow you to play the move the game's movie with full thirty frame per second or sixty frame per second depends on the video size or maybe some kind of how to use it. So the Optex technology is that not just only steam the video on the game, but it it play the C Alpha movie or Alpha Channel movies that can show like showing the video effects. Here's this is how local looks like this. There you go, almost there. Oh, zooming in. There you go. This is the logo in it. You can check on for more information on the CRI middleware website because I really love this one, but sometimes. It screwed up some games where someone people complain about the middleware's technologies, but I think this one's very interesting. But sometimes I heard the news that Destiny's was used this CRI where was to use for its game cinematic. So the good thing I play Sonic Adventures International version is is fixed all box and also it it has the English voice acting, but I prefer the Japanese voice was pretty cool and I really love it but I I need to use the English version to learn the English during the game and this is my first review of my Dreamcast console and the first time ever I have to do a the game review with raw footage so let's start let's start the game first next up is I'm going to review the controller first so the controller of Sega Dreamcast with very feel like it's very comfortable to hold and is some somehow is really bulky or maybe it's shaped like a speedboat and then this is how the control design looks like and this is the control layout here we got the analog sticks with non pressable I like the place into DualShock 2 has the a clickable analog sticks. It's pretty great, but so many buttons. This is why the PlayStation controllers are not always changed, but sometimes are changed. Like PlayStation 4, that removed the all uh, select and start button, removed and changed to the option button because most people think that select buttons are unnecessary. And the Dreamcast con the Dreamcast controller had. So, beside for make simple gameplay with few buttons and the trigger itself. It's pretty long when I press it hard enough. Uh, okay. So, what we got here, we have the red A, blue B, yellow X, and Y, green Y. And the stop button is a triangle shape. And they connect with the Mabel bus connector with this is the maple bus controller here connected and this and the console was powered with their own OS called Sega OS with the uh, design for uh, Microsoft 
Windows CE and this is the logo itself okay I think it's looking for clearly and one thing is the Dreamcast console was made with very hard plastics which simply was a very good design but feels like the console was made with for the built-in PC gaming and also the first console to have the internet internet gaming console is is a real gaming console to have the internet multiplayer and the one thing I'm really annoying about this console is the how the Dreamcast reading the disc it sounds like grinding grinding metals or grinding mortars here inside the console and this uh, the fans was when you turn on it feels like uh, booting your, the PCs and here's the sounds of this the reading is like well this is a little bit noisy but that's okay just the same thing like the other console that things is retro but the PlayStation 2 is quieter than this one but let's check out the game I'm sorry because I have to play on one hand and I need to concentrate the recording itself okay let's go here we go and here's the menu itself, the Sonic Adventures. I really love this game since I played when I was a kid. First time I played was the Sonic Adventure Deluxe version. And here's the internet features and options here. Oh, it's the Japanese voice version. I think what I'm set here. This is how I changed the Japanese version because I'm trust the game with Japanese voice. But sadly, the one who voiced the Dr. Eggman was died already. I mean, he's dead. About age 85. I'm really sad just a bit, but I really love his works. Adventure mode. I'm trying not to spoil, but I simply will do it. I'm doing the review. I'll go try mode. Action stage. So let's go into single review of the Sonic Adventure game. So I will take it briefly. So during my recording, oh, I will set it up first. Alright, I will do this one instead during holding the camera so let's get started I'm playing on one hand but please excuse me because one hand will be difficult to control the game alright stage one emerald coach emerald coach okay. let's go Oh, uh, I gotta hold something else. And here's see how the game graphics looks like in the game. But the, I think the Dreamcast version looks pretty nice during I'm playing the game. This one the graphics looks astonishing, and this is signed as the original game. Oh, I'm playing on one hand, but not really good. Because I'm holding a record. One half will record, one half will play. That's a painful. Oh, okay. Now I'm not jumping because I have to start to move the character first. I wish I had the recorder straight from the console and itself because I don't want to play on to one hand either.
I hope that anyone, everyone who enjoyed my review show, so... Because, personally, I wish I want to have my own review show on a YouTube, as most people did. This is why I want to, I want to fulfill, my, fulfill my dreams. And probably it's the first time I have to review it in English. Because I'm from Thailand, I... Sometimes I have to practice a lot of English language during speak or maybe some kind of shows. Oh, <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, surprisingly, I'm controlling the one hand. Oh, jumping section. Not gonna make it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Jumping. Good. Oh. All right, I made it. Oh. Okay, that's the Sega Dreamcast game review, so uh, probably you can enjoy my show, so this is a, not a real, actually it's a show, because I'm just, first time I do a review on this, on doing this recording method like this. <laughs> so, to be honest with me, that I'm just first time review here. So I hope you enjoy my video. So if you want to make me do something about the game or some kind of interesting thing, so you can comment below or check the ratings, like like or dislike. So please, uh, please uh, give us a uh, help because uh, okay, never mind. To be sure that my English was still improving, but. This is the first time I have to show my skills how to review the game with my English voice. So, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next, uh, next day for next reviewing show. So, if I got any good questions, so I will support. But thanks to the console that I bought here was from the old corner that they bought from MBK was the my personal favorite chops about game retro games thank you very much so i hope you enjoy my video thanks and see you later